Sarah, can I help you? Yes. Um, I'm calling to, uh, to get directions to how to come to your store. Okay. And I'm coming down south. So, uh... Where, like, where would I get off? What road? We're two blocks from Martha Stuman's house. Who is Martha Stuman? I don't know her. Stuman. She, she lives in the yellow and brick house. No, come on, Guy. I want correct directions to how to get to the store. Oh, my name's not Guy. It's Carl. Can I have someone else who knows the directions, please? Uh, yeah, let me transfer you. Thank you. I'm calling for some directions to get to your store. Uh -huh. Where are you coming I, from? Pardon me, I'm coming from um, on and I'm coming from like right. Avenue. Right, it. right past Martha Stewman's house, then, right? That that would be past Martha Stewman's house, I think, first. I and, and then you would Martha. turn left two blocks from Chris Johnson's house. We're right next to that. Oh, come on now. Are you in the same? Okay. Hello there, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and today is October 14th, 2022. This show is sponsored by Cody No Name, The Stunning Kruger Effect, Vintage.Anon, Chaz the Tandem Stacker, and Jimmy S. They all support the show at patreon.com slash losers, and you should be doing that too. Why aren't you doing that? Come on, go do that. When you do that, you get an extra show every week. Wouldn't you like an extra show? Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know if I've done one this week yet, though. I might be late on that. I've had a bad week of getting shows done. So, an update on the vinyl record. I have paid the deposit for it, which is, you know, half of the entire cost. So, things are happening over there. They are making the vinyl record. And as far as I know, it's still not going to be here until August. They said somewhere around August or so. Maybe a month earlier, maybe a month later. They don't know for sure. I'm okay with waiting that long. I'm just happy that I'm finally getting it done after all these years of false promises. And I still haven't set up a Kickstarter for it. I know it's probably stupid to set one up at this point, but I'm still a little bit worried that nobody's going to buy these things. And maybe if I set up a Kickstarter, people will. I don't want to do pre-orders on my own because I don't know about that. That sounds like a, a disaster that would most likely happen. So vinyl records, they're happening definitely for sure now since I gave them a bunch of money. So I'm supposed to do 777 calls today, whatever that means. And that's what we're going to do. So here it goes. Here are some 777 calls. Thank you for calling Westgate Las Vegas. Guest service, this is Carol. Hey, Carol. Um, I'm a guest here. I'm staying here at the hotel. Okay. And uh, you know, like your Wi-Fi? You know, you have the Wi-Fi. Uh, to... uh, yes, we do have Wi-Fi. You want to connect to Westgate Las Vegas in your Wi-Fi connection? Oh, no, I already did that. Um, I have been oh, okay. I have been sniffing the network. I'm a computer hacker. And okay. I've been looking on other people's computers and I'm looking on uh, one of the other guests' computers right now, and I can see them through the webcam. And they're running, uh, you know, their own casino inside their room. Like, they, they must have 50 people in there. Uh-huh. Like, uh, I mean, I... Why are I, you looking in other people's rooms? Well, ma'am, I'm not... Like, look, the, the laws that I'm breaking aren't as bad as the laws they're breaking because they're running an illegal casino inside their room. And they're, <sighs> okay. They're not with the hotel. But they're they they've got they've got like just a bunch of people in there and they've what got room all, is it? they've got slot machines. I don't know. I can't see the room door. Oh my gosh! You have nothing else better to do than prank call people. I'm not prank calling. I'm just saying there there's definitely illegal gambling happening in this room. Like you think it's a prank call because I can't see oh. the door. Okay, so we should just call security and tell them to go knock on every door in the casino till they find a illegal casino I don't know. I just thought you might want to know about this. Like, you don't have to... I think you should get out of people's rooms on your illegal webcam if you're in there. That's no, what I, I think. I like to look at naked girls on their webcams. You know what? I can see your phone number. I'm going to call the police. 270 
and I'm calling the police right now. You do not call here again. That's Beverly's number. Don't be calling that number. I'm calling it right now as, as I call the police. You're not going to call the I'm, police. Don't be silly, ma'am. And she just put me on hold. If she knows it's a prank call, she's not going to be calling the police. Come on. Trying to scare me with her empty police threats. So y'all have been trying to get me to do uh, Las Vegas type pranks for episode 777. Either that or Jesus pranks because 777 I think means God or Jesus or I don't know. I just know from that Pixies song that God is seven. If I remember correctly, I think that's how it goes. But I don't want to do Jesus calls today. I barely even want to do these Las Vegas calls. I've been at a loss all week on what to really do. And I still don't know. I'm just, I've got a big old thing of hotels pulled up here in Las Vegas. And it'd be really cool if I could get through to some rooms. But I have my doubts that that will happen in Las Vegas. They know better. They've learned their lesson from PrankNet. So maybe instead I'll just do a bunch of uh, computer hacking on the hotel Wi-Fi. Good morning. Thanks for calling Traffic Channel Las Vegas. This is more, you know. Hey there. Uh, I'm a guest over across the street at the Excalibur. You know, ma'am? Hello? Yes, sir. How can I help you today? Um, well, I've been looking in the windows of your rooms over there with my telescope. And there's one room in there. I think it might be on the 10th floor. Uh, they've got an illegal gambling thing going on inside the room. Like they've got slot, I can with security. slot machines. Well, no, is that is that allowed over there? Just one moment, please. No, I don't want security, ma'am. <phone rings> Shit. Okay, security, Stephanie speaking. Hey there, I'm staying over at the um, Excalibur across the street, you know? Uh-huh. And I've been looking in uh, the windows of, um, you know, your hotel over there with my telescope. And there's one room, I think it's on the 10th or 11th floor, they're, you know, they got a bunch of uh, slot machines in there, and a bunch of people, and the, it seems like they're running their own casino inside their room. Is is that something that's allowed over there? Uh, okay. Is, is that something that's um, allowed over there? No. Okay, well that I... That doesn't sound right. So if, if I went over there and I tried to join the, you know, the fun, like, I would probably, like, I don't want to get in trouble is the thing. Well, there's the whole casino floor that has slot machines. I'm sorry, can you speak up? What's that? Um, I'm sorry, I just, who was this again? Oh, my name is Kevin. I, I am across the street in the Excalibur. I'm in my own room. And I was okay. using I was using my telescope just to look in all the windows at your hotel at the Tropicana. Uh -huh. And uh there's just one of the it's just a regular room, like I can see the bed in there and everything. It's not a gambling room. But they've hmm. set it up as a gambling room. There's a bunch of slot machines in there and um some kind of a card table. It's hard to see. Okay. From from, you know, my angle over here. Okay. But um, I don't know. It's like it's on the tenth or the eleventh floor, and I'm not really trying to get anyone in trouble. I just I didn't know if that was a thing that you could actually do. Uh, no, I don't know what you're seeing. Uh, that's that's weird. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just it, looking in all the windows, and you know everything's on the up and up in most of the other rooms. But I did okay. see a lot of naked people, but. Uh -huh. the, the craziest thing I saw is definitely the room that has all the gambling happening inside of it. Okay. Okay, Kevin. Um, tell you what. Uh, maybe keep your telescope put away for a while. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Why? <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with me just looking in the windows. Like, if they didn't want me to see uh, stuff in there, they'd probably shut their curtains. Okay. And I, I'm going to assume that you're not going to tell me what room you're at over there at the caliber. Well, I don't know what, what that would matter. Like, I'm on the ninth floor. I'm, well, I'm kind of looking up a know, little bit. Mean. Like, do you have a, a... Can I text you or something? Can I text you these pictures of all this, uh, you know, this No, I'd this rather room? you didn't. Why not? I'd rather you didn't. I'm not going to accidentally text you one of the pictures of the naked ladies. It's just, I was going to... Okay, okay, but I'm going to hang up now, okay? Why? Hey, Why? I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. All right, maybe illegal gambling in a room is not a believable premise, I guess. I get that.
I'm going to move on to something else. Thank you for calling Excalibur Hotel. This is Nancy. Can I help you? Hey, Nancy. I'm a, um, I'm staying here at the hotel at the Excalibur. Hi. And How can I help you? Hey, I'm on the Wi-Fi. Um, I'm a, you know, a penetration tester with the Wi-Fi. And uh-huh. I have been basically hacking the Wi-Fi all day today uh, and just looking on other people's computers. Uh-huh. And what do I do if I find, if I find you, know, you know, questionable material? On their laptops, like stuff that they should. On shouldn't. their laptop? Yes, yes. I've been looking on everyone's laptops today that are connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh huh. And phones. And oh wow! You I, can do that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's super easy. It's just uh, you know, computer programs that I run. Yeah. It's uh, just kind of breaks past the security and lets me look at all their yeah. stuff. Well, plus it's an unsecure Wi-Fi too, so. Yeah, that no. Makes it probably easier, huh? Stupid them for uh, <laughs> you know just putting that on on their laptops and leaving it, it hooked up. Wow. Let me chance you to security and no, see what. No, what, I don't want security. What, Why are you uh, gonna give me a security? Well, because I don't know how to answer your question uh, about how you would go about that if you see you know like unsafe or different things on somebody's laptop. I I wouldn't know. Okay. Where well, to go do about you, that. do you know if like if is it is it am I allowed to? Like, I can see everything that happens on their webcams uh-huh. if their laptop's open. And I'm watching a naked girl right now. Okay. And she's in her room and she's smoking in the room. Do you have smoking rooms here? No, we don't. Okay, well, this girl is definitely smoking in her room. Okay. She's just hanging out in the chair over there in the corner and she is smoking cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Like regular cigarettes. Mm-hmm. It's not marijuana. Um, do you want me to transfer you to our Wi-Fi support center or security? Because I I don't know if you you know. Well, I, is, I don't know. Like, are you guys good know. with her just in there smoking, smoking cigarettes? No, of course not. But do you have a room number? Completely no, naked. Right? You don't have a room number. No, because I can't see. I can't see her door. I can see that uh-huh. um, she's high up in the hotel, like uh, you know, because because of the window. Mm-hmm. She's not like I wouldn't be able to narrow down who you're looking at. So you're just gonna let her smoke in a room like that? Well, I don't know who you're looking at, so and I don't know if you should keep looking at her if you're able to, you know, go into people's webcams and be able to just bypass. Okay, well she's naked, ma'am. Well. She's completely naked. She's okay, like let me naked transfer you to security. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hello, this is Excalibur Security. How can I help you? Hey there. Uh, this is Brad. I'm, uh, you know, I'm staying in the hotel right now. You say you're staying yeah. at a hotel right now? Yeah, I don't know why she transferred me to you. Uh, I have been hacking into the, the Wi-Fi here at the hotel and looking through everyone's uh-huh. computers. Yeah. You know, just looking at their files, looking through their webcams. And there's a lady in uh-huh. her room right now. She is completely naked and she's smoking cigarettes. Oh, wow. Yeah, in her room. Okay. And, like, she's not allowed to smoke, right? Inside the rooms? Yeah, it, it, it depends on which room it is because uh, we do have some certain rooms they're allowed to smoke and some certain rooms they're not allowed to smoke. Oh, okay. Well, the, the front desk lady told me that none of the rooms were smoking rooms. Yeah, it just depends on the front desk. I'm not really sure because last time I heard it, if you're somewhere in the, some floor, you are allowed to smoke in some floor, you cannot. Um, what I'm going to do... Well, she's just sitting on her bed. She's just sitting on her bed smoking. She's got an ashtray on the bed. And she's okay. naked. Are you... Okay, are you in your room right now? So maybe we can send an officer, maybe check that out to find out where exactly it's coming from. Oh, well, no, I don't know how to tell where it's where it's coming from because, uh, you know, the room number is not, not really listed anywhere inside the room. I'm, I'm, yeah, well, I'm, watch, we, I'm watching her through her we webcam. Can, yeah, because usually we can tell from a window to what floor... And oh. where his room is coming from. Well, she's definitely high up. You know, she's like, a, you know, not on a ground floor. I can see out the window a little bit. All right. Let me put you on hold for a second. Let me transfer it to my investigator, Wait, do my you, manager, okay? Do, do, do you want me to... I can talk to her through her laptop, but that'll probably freak her out and make her shut her laptop. Okay. Let me put you on hold for a second. Hey, I can I pretend on. to be hotel security and say, hello, this is hotel security. I need you to identify no. which room you're in right now, ma'am. I... Not allowed to discuss that. That's why my manager will be and able to do that. I'll demand that she put on clothes. Okay. Let me have my manager speak to you, okay? Hold on. Okay. 
Am I allowed yeah. to send you... world-famous homemade half-pound meatballs right here to Excalibur. Ooh. Whether you're a table for two or half 20, let our family serve yours. All right, sir. I'm transferring to my manager. Hold on. Okay. okay. Uh, I went ahead and I, I talked to her through her computer. But she doesn't seem to know where it's coming from. Okay, hold on. But she won't she won't identify her room number. I I told her I was talking to her through the speakers in the ceiling. Last resort, famous uh, for deliciously messy cuisine. Excalibur Security, this is Cody speaking. How may I help you? Hey there. Um, I just uh, did he tell you the whole uh, situation with the Wi-Fi hacking? Uh, I heard there's something going on with Wi-Fi. Well, I'm watching a lady through her uh, through her MacBook's computer webcam, and uh, she's on her bed. She's naked, but she's smoking cigarettes. And I didn't think this was even a smoking hotel. I thought they outlawed stuff like that. Um. All right, so I'm confused. Oh, I'm staying here at the Excalibur. I, I'm I'm just in a different room. And uh, I'm using my computers to hack into everybody else's computers through the Wi-Fi. And the front desk lady told me that's fine because it's an unsecured Wi-Fi. Yeah, but getting into other people's devices is not fine. Okay, well, I'm not really looking through her files right now. I'm just looking at her webcam. And she's in her room completely naked. I don't think there's anyone else in there, but she's got an ashtray on her bed. And she's smoking cigarettes. All right, well, there's a lot of information here to go through. Okay. Well, I just don't know how to tell what room she's in. I've been trying to talk to her through the computer, and I, I told her I was talking to her through the TV. And uh, right. I'm trying to get her to identify her room, and she won't respond. Uh, what's your name, sir? Brad. Brad? Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, you said you're staying with us? Yeah, yeah, I'm here in the Excalibur. I've just been in my room all day, just uh, looking through other people's computers and watching them through their webcams. All right. Um, what? So I need, for our logs and, like, tracking who we're talking to and who where we're going and everything, what room number are you staying in? Oh, no, no, I don't want to give that out. That. I, like I don't need any visitors right now. To be honest, I'm naked right now too, and I don't want anyone coming up. I just I didn't uh, know about the whole smoking thing. Like, is are there smoking rooms in the hotel? There. Are are they like a hush hush type of thing? Like just for rich people? She doesn't look rich. It's not like a nice room. But it's hard to tell, tell since she's completely naked. Because, you know, she's, I don't see what kind of clothes yeah, she wears. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I, I don't even know where to begin with all this. What do you um, mean? Here, hold on. Let me Let me try and talk to her through the computer again. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am, you need to identify which room number you are in. I am with the Excalibur. I'm the manager of security. Please identify no, which not. room you are in. No, you're not. She's just looking around. She's, but she's not... All right. she's so, not oh, she just said hello. <laughs> like, to the room. Ma'am, identify which room number you are in. This is Brad. I'm the manager of security here at the Excalibur. Identify your room number. All right. She's looking Sir, at her TV. What? You need to, you need to stop impersonating to begin with. Oh no. You stop going to I'm not impersonating. I'm not impersonating. I'm not impersonating you're not you. I I know and but I, I, I said I'm Brad. No. I didn't give your name. And you also said you're with Excalibur and that you're a manager. You're not. No, well, I said manager of security. That's not like the manager manager. And I said I'm Brad. I, I'm not trying right. to cause trouble for oh. you. Ma'am, you need to put that cigarette out. Right. You are you are not supposed to be smoking in your room, and we are watching you. I am the manager of security. 
and you you need to put that cigarette out. No smoking, ma'am. I'm just gonna scare her into putting it out. Hello, are you still there? Hello. Yes, and oh. sir. If you're not gonna give me any further information, there's gonna be a lot more issues here. Hold on, I'm gonna pop up windows on her computer that say to stop smoking, like alert boxes. But I don't want her to shut off her webcam because she's naked. So I'm trying to figure out how to word this so she won't shut her webcam. I'm going to make the alert box title say Excalibur Security Manager Brad. No smoking. That's what I'm writing. Hello? It got quiet. You must have hung up. Okay, I'll hang up to, I guess. Should I hang up? I think he hung up. Hello, manager of security. Are you... So at this point, it sounds like you're playing games. I'm not playing games. I'm popping up windows so, on your computer. Show me, good, show me good faith. Show me good faith. What is your name? Brad. Does Brad have a last name? Well, don't talk to me like I'm, you know, in the third person. That's kind of rude. Very disrespectful. Oh, hold on. She's getting up. She's get Ma'am, come back All to right. the bed. We are watching you. And don't light up another cigarette. She, she stopped smoking. She All right, put, what room number? What room number? I don't know what her room number is. That's the thing. And no, I keep asking her. Number. And so you're staying with us. What room are you staying in? She's not even responding what the room number is. No, Hold your on. room number. Let me ask her. Hello, ma'am. This is Brad, manager of security again. Please tell me what your room number is. Because you are not allowed to be smoking in there. What is, what is your room number? She's, off, she's out of frame now. I can't even see her. She's just mumbling. Ma'am, come back to the bed and leave your clothes off. I am the manager of the Excalibur Security. I command you to come back this way. Over here. Do not shut your laptop screen. Okay, she's back. She's back. She's looking at her computer. Ah, oh, shit. She just shut the screen. Sir. You blew it. You messed it all up. All right. So, Brad, you're just going to keep sitting here saying that you're a guest here, that you're hacking into others' computers, or are you actually going to give information? Oh, no, I, I guess. I mean, she shut her computer. There's not, not much I can do. I can't even look at her files now. Her computer's shut off. Here, I'll try to do a remote startup on her computer and see if I can at least look at her files. Just a minute. Alright. I mean, type in Mr. the command. Mr. Brad. What? Mr. Brad. Yes, what? I need information from you. Okay, well, uh, her computer's off, so I guess the whole thing... I, I, don't need, I don't need her information. I don't need the information of the person that you're allegedly hacking into allegedly. on the system. I need your information. Okay, well, I'm not going to give that to you. Uh, I have to go now. I don't think I can help. I tried to help, and, and you just... You didn't really do a whole lot to... You weren't very helpful as the manager of security. Like, really, the, the guy before you was much much more helpful. Mr. Brad? What? I need, I need more information from you. Nope. That we may move forward and address situations properly. Okay. Are you, are you using Windows or a Mac, sir? We're not given that. I, that's could, could you please um, right-click on the Windows icon and click Run, and then uh, type in CMD, and then click OK. Mr. Brad, I, I just want to we have see very what good IT that can take care of whatever my computer issues are. Well, no, I'm not but trying I to fix your computer. I was trying to figure out what your IP address was. All right. 
Oh, that made him hang up. All right. He was so unhelpful to me. What a jerk. Ooh, look at this. We got the Luxor right next door and an Arco, a gas station. Let's call it this gas station next to the Excalibur. Hey, I'm Pam. Hey, um, this hey. is this is the manager over here at the Excalibur Hotel. Uh-huh. And we've had several complaints that you guys are not being friendly to our guests. Huh? And you need to cut that out. You need to be friendlier to the guests at, at your gas station. What do you mean we're not being friendly to our guests? You're just not being friendly. You're being kind of like acting like a douche canoe. And then they, they come over to our hotel and they, they complain that, you know, you're not being nice, not giving good customer service. How are we not giving... Here you go. This is you. They're talking about it. Hello? Hey, it's Brad. I'm the manager over at the Excalibur. Uh-huh. And everyone in your store needs to be a little bit friendlier. Maybe smile at the customers because they're coming over here and complaining that you guys are a bunch of assholes. Oh, and, okay. Well, thank you. You have a good day. Well, now. I'm starting to agree with them. <laughs> That's weird. That's an Arco station on the corner, but then next door is an AM PM convenience store, which is completely different. Maybe one's just a gas station. No, that's not true. I'm going to call this one, too, though. Well, darn. AMPM will not answer the phone. I don't see any other gas stations nearby. What else could I call in Vegas? I mean, I, I have a you know just a ton of hotels to call, I guess. But I also have these numbers from Max Power that I sent in. Let me see if I can find those. This list is from 10 days ago, though, so I don't know if they're still going to have everything. This one says, free metal and contents of home left over from my estate sale. Hello? Hey, I'm in your backyard right now. I was at your estate sale, you know? No, you've got the wrong person. Well, well, whoever, no. did that, whoever did that listed my phone number, and what? I don't know how to get, get it stopped. Listen here, ma'am. I'm in your backyard right now. Where's the metal at? I just, I want to get the metal. I'm telling you... I'm telling you, I don't have anything. Whoever listed that on Craigslist put the wrong number. They put my phone okay, number. Okay, can you tell? I, can, not, can you tell that hyperactive you. man in the background to shut the fuck up, please? Fuck you, asshole. Oh yeah, that's, you got me good there, didn't you? Yeah. Well, shush. How do I hang this? The fuck up? <laughs> she told you to shush. Oh, he didn't hear that. She hung up too quick. But he totally got shushed. All right, free filter. Bring your truck and shovel yourself. Wow, that's rude. And I don't know what these numbers are from, by the way. It might be Craigslist. Hello? Hey, I was calling about that free fill dirt. Calling about what? The free fill dirt. What is that? The Dirt, you know? It's free. It's fill dirt. You put an ad up. Oh, free fill dirt. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Don't laugh at me, they motherfucker. Understand it. <laughs> it sounded like Phil Dirt. <laughs> Your mom sounds like Phil Dirt. Oh, well, yeah. Hey. Well, I guess it's not free anymore. Well, what do you mean it's not free anymore? <laughs> no. What do you want? Just the dirt? Yeah, yeah, just the dirt. But I'm not going to shovel it myself. Like, do you have a shovel there? You need uh, to shovel it for me. Oh, uh, that ain't going to happen. Well, I don't do that kind of work. Well, don't fucking call me then. Well, what's your address? I'm going to come over and get some of it? Like, what's a good time? No, you ain't going to fucking the crane. You ain't going to shovel it, so I ain't shoveling it for you. Oh, so no, yes, you are. Find somebody else no, you, dirt. You, no, you'll, if you want to get rid of the dirt, you're going to shovel it. I'll shovel it up your ass. That's what I'll do. I'll shovel, I'll shovel you. Yeah, right. Yeah, I will. Call somebody else. No, no nobody else is selling fill dirt. Man, all these ads are kind of rude. The next one is free leather reclining sofa. Bring your truck. It's very heavy. Like, they're just all demanding down in Las Vegas. And I think Max Power usually does um, Craigslist stuff. So I'm guessing these are numbers from Craigslist. Like, how dare they assume I have a truck? Please leave your message. But they're not picking up. I tried several times. This next one is free toilet assistance items. What the fuck is that? Everything is hardly used and was bought new. What are toilet... Please leave your message for seven... And, and they're not picking up either. Shit. I really want to know what free toilet assistance items are. Here's eight tons of gravel delivered to your door for 150 bucks. Hello, Dr. Hey, I was calling about those eight tons of gravel. Uh-huh. Is that still... I... 
the gravel is long, long, long gone. I get stuff all the time. Uh, right Listen here, have- buddy. I'm the one that bought your gravel, and you, you delivered it to my door. Okay. And this isn't even real gravel. You sent me fake gravel, and I paid $150 for it, and I'm a little pissed off. What is a fake gravel? You you brought over fake gravel. This is like 3D printed gravel. It's a bunch of bullshit is what it is. I want my $150 back. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I, I brought it to you. How dare you bring me fake gravel? I have no idea what you're talking about. Are oh, you yes, sure you, you do. You you're, the right person? you're one of those scammers going around just selling fake gravel. Are you joking or are you serious? No, I'm not joking. I, kn- I know now why you bring it to their door because you don't want them to know where you live. You're just going to show up and dump a bunch of fake gravel on their property and get your $150, you scammer. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. What's, uh, I have no idea what you're talking and about. And then you're just going to laugh at me on the phone when I confront you about it? You're an asshole, sir. Do you want me to explain it? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you want me to answer you seriously or do you want me to laugh at you? I don't understand. Well, I think it's kind of rude of you to be laughing at me. Why don't you bring over some real gravel? I want eight tons of the, real, real the, gravel. The gravel and dirt and everything I get is not, I don't have it. It's stuff that I pick up from my customers and I give it to other people. Well, you got scammed then and then you scammed me because this is eight tons of fake gravel. What is it? It was rocks. What do you mean fake gravel? You gave me when, fake. Wh- you gave me fake gravel. This, this who, gravel who, isn't even real. When did I give it to you? What the fuck am I gonna do with fake gravel? <sighs> Sir, if you curse me one more time. I'm gonna hang the phone on you, or I'm gonna curse you back. So you want to talk no more? Oh, you, you go ahead and curse me back, motherfucker. I don't appreciate go you selling me yourself. eight tons of fake gravel. Again, go fuck yourself and your fake, your fake gravel. How's that? Hey, how dare you talk to me like that? Man, the next one is a semi-electric hospital bed, which I have questions about that. How is it semi-electric? Does it run partly on steam or something? You have to hook up a gas generator to it. The bed was new when I received it. Nobody passed away in it. The person was taken to the hospital and passed away there. Oh, okay. So they slowly died in it, but I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to call this one. Someone probably lost their wife or something. But what a weird thing to write in the ad that nobody passed away in it. So it's not haunted, everybody. This is not a haunted semi-electric hospital bed. Okay, here's one that's uh, more Las Vegas themed. Looking to buy older casino chips and dice for cash. Hey, they hung up on me. I heard somebody pick up and they just hung up. Hello. Hey, I called a minute ago and you hung up on me. I'm in your backyard right now. Sir? Sir? I was calling about those casino chips. You're in my backyard? Yeah, Want to get shot, motherfucker? Hey, sh- shut up. Like, are you looking to buy the older casino chips? Because uh, I have quite a few of that. Quite a few of those. It's got boxes. Show me a picture, man. Well, why are you being such a dick about it? I'm just trying to sell you, you some... You said you're in my backyard, motherfucker. That's why. I am in your backyard. What? what I'll, like, do you want to meet? And, and see some of these casino chips? You, you want to be... You're in my backyard right now. Let me get my gun right now, motherfucker. Why are you being such a hothead about it all, you weirdo? Why are you saying you're in my backyard, you stupid faggot? What's wrong with being in your backyard? It's it's not a gay thing. I'm just in your backyard. Are you home right now? Because I, I don't see you coming out here with a gun yet. Hey, buddy. Who are you? Who are you? This is Brad. I just, I saw your ad. You're looking to buy older casino chips and dice. I don't have any dice, but I have lots of casino chips. Not interested. I stole them from some guy's backyard. (laughs) Holy crap. What was that all about? Please leave your message for... For for what? Hey, I just have a question about your backyard. I'm in your backyard right now. Uh... Can you just call me back? I just have a question. It's about your backyard. Please give me a call back. It's Brad again. 
Bye. I called him a few times and he won't pick back up. I just kind of want to know what he's hiding in his backyard for him to be that angry about it. Here's someone that's interested in buying old carpet that's been taken out of a casino and he doesn't have a Vegas number. He's across the country. Hello? Hey! Um, were you still interested in buying old carpet that's been taken out of a casino? Well, what have you got? Well, it's from the Luxor. Yeah? Yeah. And um, I, it was just taken out of the casino uh, about a week ago. It's a 12 foot by 12 foot roll of it. 12 foot by 12 feet? Yeah, What? calm down. What's the problem? That, no, no, I was just repeating what you said. Yeah, um, you scared me. Like, why did you say it like that? Uh, well, it's pretty small. Well, what are you looking for? Like six, seven hundred yards. Okay, maybe you should have put that in the ad. But th this is a... Uh, hey, come on. I thought that'd be a good... I thought it was just somebody wanting to decorate their, their room with casino carpet. What the fuck does he need 700 yards for? Please leave your message for six. And now he won't pick back up. What a dick. He must own his own casino or something to need that much carpet. Here's a number to sell your gift cards for cash. Let's see what kind of deal I can get on this. Cash now. Cash now. Hey. Cash now. Yep. Um, I was calling about your, uh, you said you'll buy gift cards for cash. Hello? Two phones ringing. Sir. Hey, I'm on lines at the same time. Hold Sir. On. What kind of gift card is it? Uh, it's a Bed Bath & Beyond. It has $7 left on it. I was hoping to get $20. It has seven, and you want twenty? Yes, please. Probably could do like fifty, but just on um, yesterday we only do that offer. You'll give me fifty dollars for a Bed Bath and Beyond with seven dollars on it? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. All right. Why are you paying so much? Because we pay the most in town, but that's only for tomorrow. Can I get a hundred? Yeah, call tomorrow. It'll be the same thing tomorrow, the day after. Thanks for playing. Why Have can't, a nice why, day. Why can't it be today? I'm so confused. Casino cage. Hey there. Um, I saw this ad. You're looking to hire a casino cage cashier. I am. Okay. Is that still available? Um, yes. We're taking applications at this time. Okay. Do I just need to come in in person to fill out an application? Um, actually, you can go to our website and do it. Okay. And like, and how, how much, they, uh, how much um, cash will I be in possession of at, a, at any given time? Depends on where you're working. Well, would I be left alone with it? Like, no, you're never alone. Well, I mean, you, unsupervised, uh, like in the cage, would I be by myself? No, never. Why not? <laughs> Why would you ever be left in the cage by yourself? Well, no, I'm just saying, like, like, don't you, you don't trust people? If you're interested in the cage job, the best thing to do is go online, fill out an application. Okay, well, I'm qualified for the job. I work at the, well, I worked at the Luxor. I got fired recently. Hmm. Okay. But, well, I mean, go that, online that, that, and fill, gonna, out, a, that's fill not gonna, out an application. Hey, 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 that's not going to disqualify me, is it? Depends on why you were fired. Well, it's for stealing money. Well, then you'd the, be fired, absolutely. Well, no, I, We would not hire you. Why wouldn't you? It doesn't mean I'm going to do it at every job that I get. Well. I learned my lesson. Huh. Okay, fill out an application. Okay, but how much money would I be in possession of at a single time? I have no idea. Is it it just depends on where you're working. Hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars? Ninety-nine dollars. Ninety-nine? Yep. Bullshit, what? <laughs> They're only going to let me manage $99? If they have a website, why am I calling a phone number? Why don't they just put the website in the ad? Well, that's all I can get to pick up on this list right now, so... Thank you, Max Power. I'm going to hold on to it and try some of these other ones that didn't pick up. Maybe on a future show. He also sent me some uh, Sensei Doug shopping centers in Las Vegas. I'm not sure if I want to really get into a Sensei Doug thing right now. Maybe, though. I'll leave this email open. Maybe I'll come back to it and do some Sensei Doug calls. I think I'm going to call some more hotels, though. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Motel 6. As soon as speaking, how may I help you? Hey, uh, I'm a guest here at the Motel 6. And I found okay. I found somebody's key ring in the hallway. 
And uh, okay. I've, I've been, I've been, I'm, I'm in the parking lot right now. I'm just walking around, hitting the button on it, trying to find out whose car it belongs to. And none of the cars are beeping. So is there, is there somewhere else people park their cars around here? Or is there like a parking garage or an underground or something? No, we don't have a parking garage. Are you here on the property right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm walking around the parking lot right now. I'm just, I'm clicking the, the, the alarm button, trying to make the alarm go off. But I can't find their car. Okay, maybe I'll come to the office and you could talk to security in this way. You could bring it in and they could take care of that. Oh, no, no, I'm, I just, I want to get in the car. And I walked over to the Denny's and I went through their parking lot and nobody's, you know, nobody's car is beeping there. Okay, you, you want to get into somebody else's car? Well, yeah, I just want to try and see if I can find it and get into it. But I've been when through. When it's not your car? Yeah, I've been around the parking lot like three times now and I can't seem to find where the car is located. And, okay. And ma'am, this, sure. key, this key fob doesn't even say what kind of car it is. Okay, but, so. So the car, I'm trying to understand here. There's a key car that you found in the hallway. The car does not belong to you. You've been going through the parking lot because you want to get inside of this car. Yeah, because I can unlock the trunk. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. We can't give you no information. Well, no, I'm the not. The only way you can do it is bring in the key card, talk to security, and they'll take over that. Okay. Well, no, it, like if I, if, if I find the car, then it, it'll beep and I'll know which one it is. And then I can open up the trunk or the doors or anything. Obviously, but you're not finding it. So how can we help you? Well, I bet I don't know. Has anyone reported their their key is missing? Uh, as far as I know, I don't. That's why I said come to the is lobby it? and talk to security. No, I don't want to talk to security. If I just give it to security and they just get their keys back, they're not going to learn their lesson. I want to get in their car. Oh, so now you want to teach them a lesson because they lost their car keys probably by accident. Well, uh, more like they lost them because they're irresponsible. I don't go around just oh. dropping my keys in, in hotel so you, so hallways. You expect me to give, do you expect me to give you information? They, they want to, I'm, do you want me to give my uh, information? What? No, you expect me to give you information if somebody lost a car key and give you the information of the vehicle. Well, I, I thought maybe somebody yeah. might have turned them in. You know, I like asked about that. And Talking to security is not going to help you? Uh, no, I don't want to turn in okay. security. I, I want to just keep looking. I've, well, then I guess, I I guess just... keep looking. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're, we're not giving you I'm gonna information get, at all. I'm going to get in their car, though. Like, you know, I, if I have the keys, I'm allowed to get in the car. It's not like breaking... No, because... It's yeah, not breaking and thinking. entering, ma'am. Okay, then do what you got to do. Okay. But I'm, I'm not giving you information. I'm not going right. to steal anything. I'm just, sure. I'm going to leave a note. Okay. I just want to leave a note and put it on their dashboard and say, I got in your car. All right, then. And I'm going to look through their glove box. Sir. What? That's on you. Okay. I'm going to look, okay. tr- look in the trunk, too. Okay. You, by telling me this, that what? would be what? What? So you're telling me this, so... Well, I'm just... You're, you're, act, you're acting like I'm doing something wrong, and I'm not. I'm just trying to find uh, the owner of the car. Acting. Anyway, how do I, how do I know you're not going to steal the keys and you're not going to like take off with their car? Why would I do anything like that? I don't why know. Why would I want to make myself responsible? Why do you think? Like that? Why do you think I That's would? That's why I said, I, call. You want to talk to security? I'm going to move. That's the only thing I said. I, I'm going to move their car to another spot here in the parking lot, but I'm not going to take it out of the parking lot. I don't know, sir. So I, I I'm said just, just come to the lobby. And talk to security. I'm wondering if the key fob, you know, the battery's dead, so I'm just going to up to every car and trying it in the front door. Like I said, sir, talk to security. Okay, but that's the only thing I can say. Okay? Would I be allowed to do burnouts in their car? I don't even know. I don't even know what you're talking about. You what know, is like that? spin the tires around and like do donuts in the parking lot. That is illegal. That's illegal. That's not illegal. Come on. It, if I don't like leave, the, I'm not going to leave the parking lot with their car. Ma'am, you're being rude. <laughs> what? 
Why are you being rude, ma'am? Hello? Hello? Yeah, why, why are you being rude and talking to somebody else while you're on the phone? I'm not being rude. I am talking to one of the co-workers to find out if they... You didn't even tell me to hold. About I can't. You didn't even ask me to hold. You, you just kind of... Because you kept talking. You just kind of got on the, in the background and started talking to someone else without saying anything. Like you're covering the mouthpiece. I can still hear you. You're like laughing I'm about it. Because it sounds funny what you're saying. Oh my gosh. I just, I just got it. I, I just put it in this, All car, right, then. this car and I unlocked the door. All righty. I'm going to drive around the parking lot, but I won't steal their car. Sir, you know what? What? It is still breaking and entering. No, it's not. I have the key, ma'am. I'm not going to steal their car. So what are you calling me I'm going to put it on the other side of the parking lot, or maybe I'm going to park. The company is not responsible. I'm going to park in the grass just to teach them a lesson. I'm going to park underneath a tree in the little grass, little grass median part. What are you muttering? I'm just listening to you, sir. Are you done? No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying I, I just found... Sir, I just have to report what you just said. I found the car, and I'm, I'm just going to okay. drive it around to the other side of the hotel. And they'll think it's stolen, but then you can just tell them when they come to the counter that their car is on the other side of the hotel, and I left the keys in the ignition, and I locked the doors. So they got to figure out how to get in. Hopefully they have another set. Ma'am. Okay. Okay. Are you done, sir? I'm glad we were able to work all this out together. I'm not going to do donuts. I don't want you to get I don't know, sir. Are you done, sir? I'm going to do burnouts, but not donuts. Are you done, sir? No. Okay. Have a nice day. Um, I can I can still open the trunk, even though the key fob was dead. I can still open the trunk with the key. I'm going to open the trunk. But I'm not going to take anything. Attention all customers in the lobby. If you have lost your keys, I am taking your car. <laughs> that made her hang up. She put me on speaker. Like, you don't put someone on speaker that's crazy and could say anything to the customers. What the hell, lady? And I think I stole that idea from either Dragon Mirror or Wasted Memory. Or maybe some other show that's on Prankcast. Thank you, whoever I stole that from. Thank you for calling the Hotel Galaxy Las Vegas. You may enter the room number of the party you wish. What? Dial zero or hold for the front desk operator. Okay, hold Thank on. You. Let's see what the room numbers are like. Hotel Galaxy, how may I assist you? Hello. Um, are your room numbers two digits or three digits? or I mean, three or four digits? Three Three? Yep. Like, how many floors do you have? Two. Two? Yep. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Have I, a great day. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's call back. Wait. Let's look at some photos. Maybe I'll see what the room numbers actually are in the photos. Oh, man. I can actually see the room numbers on the outside. They are the kind of numbers I would expect from a two-story hotel with Three digit numbers. But is anybody gonna be in their hotel room at two PM on a Friday in Las Vegas? They're not gonna be home. They're gonna be out gambling and stuff. This looks like a very cheap motel though. So let's give it a try, see if I can get a hold of anybody inside their hotel. Thank you for calling the Hotel Galaxy Las Vegas. You may enter the room number of the party you wish. Dial zero or hold for the front desk operator. Thank you. I'm going to start on the first floor. Bueno. Hello, is this a guest? Hello? I'm the front yes. desk. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you put the phone up to your mouth so I can hear you? Uh, I'm sorry. I am. I am. What? I well, am leader speaking English. Your lead of security? No, I am. There you go. Now, I, I, now I can hear you. Okay. What the heck? Why did I hear old music? Okay, I don't know what she was doing to her phone, but I couldn't hear shit. So that was uh, one one one. Let's try one one two. 
Thank you for calling the hotel. 112 gives me a crazy busy signal. Thank you for calling the Hotel Galaxy. Man, now I'm just getting busy signals on every number I call. Or, you know, not in service signals, I guess. This one's ringing, though. Maybe it just uh, does the fast busy if there's nobody staying in there. No, that doesn't make sense. They wouldn't turn the phones off, would they? Thank you for calling Best Western. Para Español, por favor, o prima. Okay, what the hell? To get you some help. This, this is the second this time this has happened. Two different room numbers I've dialed. It rings a couple times, and then I hear the Best Western. So maybe that front desk lady is just messing with me. She sees me calling like every room in the hotel just over and over. But some of the rooms ring. Some of them do the fast busy thing. And uh, two of them transfer me to the Best Western for some reason. And this is not the Best Western. Thank you for calling the Hotel Galaxy Las Vegas. And I have not reached a single room yet. I'm still trying. Hello. Hello, uh, this is Brad from the front desk here, uh-huh. at the, here at the motel. Sir? Hello? Hello, sir. I'm calling from the front desk. Okay. We're going to change your room. We're going to move you into a different room. We have a special visitor coming to the motel, and he's going to take over your room. You need to call the office. No, I am calling from the office. Are you in one of our rooms? Are you in room? Let me see. Let, let me see. Let me see. I got to go to the office. No, don't go to the office. I'm telling you, you got to change rooms because Carrot Top's going to come and take your room. No, sir. You're confused. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not working. confused. You're what? Did he say he works here? Did I just happen to get a room that had an employee in it? But he said he had to go to the office, so I don't know. Maybe he's the maintenance guy or something. And I don't know why Carrot Top would stay at the shitty motel if... It's in Vegas, and I'm sure he has a nice suite over at his uh, hotel he performs at. Thank you for calling the Hotel Galaxy Las Vegas. Okay, I give up on this motel, on their direct dial rooms. Like I said, it's uh, it's now 2.46 p.m. I think Vegas is in my time zone. And I called up every single number, I think, on the first floor, and almost all the numbers. I think I had like 20 to go on the second floor, but they were all starting to do fast busy. There was nothing else but fast busy signals, and that must mean that there's nobody in those rooms. But I've got to try that one again when it's more like nighttime and see if I can get a hold of more people and try to convince them that Caratop's moving in. You know, just as a roommate, just for the night. He's just going to sleep in the bed with you. That's all. No big deal. He's a fun guy. But I only reached two people, and neither of them were that good, and every tenth room I dialed would send me over to the, uh, what was it, the Howard Johnson? Some some other hotel. The Best Western, that's it. And I don't get that at all. The hotel must be owned by Best Western. And for some reason, some of the numbers go over to Best Western. Maybe. I don't know what's going on. I ain't no phone scientist. You know what? I'm tired of calling hotels, so I think I am going to call up some of these numbers that Max Power sent for Sensei Doug calls, because it's a good time, I think, for those to be open still. It's not even three o'clock yet. This first one's kind of small. It's just a few businesses, and it's a very small building, but it's got a nail place. It's got a hair place. It's got a cleaners, and I think that might be it, but I don't know what's 777 about this, calling up people in a shopping center. How can I make this relate to 777? Can I help you? Hello, it's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. You know? How many can you say again? Yeah? Yeah, it's Sensei Doug at the martial arts place. Ma'am! Oh, I, uh, ma'am, I'm Sensei Doug. I'm at the martial arts place. Here in the building. I'm on your roof right oh. now. I'm on your roof. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to let you off the hook. 777 forever. 777? Yes, forever. Now you hang up that phone, lady. You just hang it up. Okay, there she goes. I can't talk to her. She doesn't understand me. So let's try the hair place. That was the nail place. You can blame Max Power for that. Thank you for calling the hair This is Ashley. How can I help you? Ashley, it's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. Hey, hi. Hey, I'm I'm out behind the building right now, and I'm in your phone box. And I'm calling you from the little gray phone box on the back of the building. 
Ashley? Uh huh. And I'm going to be switching our phone lines. So I'm going to have your phone number and you're going to have my phone number. Okay, that's actually something that you're going to have to call and tell our owner. Oh, no. No, you, you just tell him for me. I'm changing it. You know how your number is 778? Uh huh. It's going to be 777 now. That's okay, how. Yeah, that's. That's how I I'm believe gonna, that's something that you have to tell our owner. Oh, no, you got to tell him. So your phone's not going to ring anymore, but you're going to get my calls here for the uh, the martial arts place. And you just have to answer my calls, and I'll answer your calls. And do you think you could bring messages over for me if I get any calls? Can I put you on a brief hold for just one second? Why? What are you doing? I'm going to tell my owner real quick, just so she's aware. Do you have to call her, or is she there? She's not here right now, no. Uh, can you can you stay on the phone so I can hear the phone call happen? Just give me one second. Well, don't hit, don't put me on hold. Well, I hear her talking, but I know you guys. Can't, I can barely hear what she's saying over all the other people in there. Oh, no, she's not talking right now, no. That's just me. Oh, shoot. Okay, all right. I was talking to my students. But eavesdropping. Okay, so my owner uh, wants you to call him uh, because uh, it's not really making sense to me right now. I thought it was a her. Um, can... They're a married couple. Oh. Um. Well, just, I can give you his I'll, I'll number just, really quick for I'll just, you. I'll just give you your new phone number. You want your new phone number? It's a 702-777 number. Um, my boss wants me to wants me to have you contact them because um, I don't know what to do in this situation. Okay, well, you just have to bring my messages over to me. That's all. How come so I, my boss doesn't want me to do that. How come I didn't hear you talking to him? Um, I was texting her. Oh, okay. That's crazy. So I can give you the number to my owner, and then you can call them. Okay. What's the number? 702. Uh-huh. Okay. 31. Okay. And what's their name? Sam. All right. I'll call them. But in, the, me- in, the, mean- in the meantime, just take messages for me, though, okay? Mm-hmm. If anyone Have calls, because your phone's not going to ring for the, the hair place anymore. Okay, I will go ahead and let them know. Okay, well, no, I'm just saying, like, your phone's not going to ring, but um, my phone's going to ring in your place. Okay, I'll go ahead and let them know. And I'll take messages for you after I get off the phone with Sam. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I, I love you, Ashley. Have a good one. Bye. But can you say you love me, too, though? <laughs> okay. This isn't going well. I mean, I guess, I mean, I'm calling the owner, and he's probably not going to be having any of this. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. And he's not even going to pick up? What? Come on. Your call has been... I'm calling him over and over, and it's just going to voicemail. And I'm calling him from a local number. Fucking Sam. Hello? Sam! Yes? It's Sensei Doug. Hey, Sensei Doug. How are you doing? Pretty good. I'm at that karate place, you know, like uh, in the shopping center. Uh, by one, right? Oh, yeah, I- yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I'm, a, I'm in the back of the building, and like all the phone lines run into one box. So I've swapped your phone line with my phone line, you know, with the the hair place phone line. Okay. And I just, why, why do we do that? I was just trying to tell her, like, uh, she just needs to take messages for me from now on, and I'll take messages for you guys. <laughs> And then, you know, I'll just come over and give you your messages whenever you have any. Uh, okay, what are we talking? I'm sorry, I'm so confused. So we swapped phone lines? Yeah, you have a 777 number now instead of a 778. Why did we swap? Oh, because I, I, rewired, I rewired the phone box out in the back. Why did you do that, though? Like, what was wrong with it? Oh, well, nothing's wrong with it. I just I wanted to swap phone lines. So now none of your calls for the hair place they're going to ring inside the hair place they're going to ring up in my office here at the karate place 
<laughs> okay, and why w- I, I don't want why would I want that? And why would you want the karate calls to go to our place? Well, I don't even get that many calls, so it's not going to be like extra work for you. It'll probably be extra work for me. Well, we get tons. We get calls all day, every day. Okay. Well, I'll I'll write down all the messages. I've got one of those uh, notepads, you know, like uh, for phone messages. Right. So what's going on, Sensei Doug? I'm so confused. Like, obviously, I don't want my calls to go to you. Well, it's too late. Uh, and I, I feel like you're. I already rewired it. I feel like you're 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 teasing me a little bit here. Like, what's the what's the real what's what's what, really going on? Right why would now? I tease you? I'm an adult. Exactly. Okay. Well, uh, like obviously, we don't want our phone calls to go to you, and we don't want you to manage that. So, what are we really how, saying here? How would I know that that you don't want that to happen? <laughs> okay. Because it took me a long time um, to, to hook this up, and I don't know if I can get it back. Okay, hold on just a moment. Why? What are you doing? So is is Ashley gonna say, is, is Ashley gonna send my messages to me? Is she gonna bring them over? No, definitely not. It, it, are you? Re- <sighs> what? Hey, why would he just hang up on me? And after he took forever to answer, Sam. Your call has been forwarded. Oh, and now he's just back to not answering. Your call has been forwarded to. This guy's just bad with phones, apparently. So okay, uh, the last one on the list is the the cleaning place. I think it's like a dry cleaners. Oh, they just picked up and hung up on me. They must not like Sensei Doug, because I am calling. Hello, oh, hello, ma'am? Yes? It's Sensei Doug. I called a minute ago, and you just hung up on me. Oh, I'm sorry. Why'd you do that? No, I just, put, you know, I punched the wrong button. Oh, that seems unlikely. Um, I was, uh, you know, like whenever I walk by out in front yes. of your place, um, why are you always looking at me like that? Huh? How come you're always looking at me? Who are you? I don't know you. Oh, this is Sensei Doug over at the karate place. Here here in the shopping center, like right next door. Yeah? Yeah, uh, it's Sensei Doug. You're always looking at me, and you're always giving me snake eyes. I I am? Yes, you are. I I didn't know. I would sure appreciate it if you didn't do that anymore. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. I don't know who you are. Are you sure? Because every time I walk by, you're just looking at me. Like you, oh. like you don't like karate people. Oh no, no, I never. I just wanna be very interested in what do what what you guys are doing. My grandson is really enjoyed looking at inside. I see. Well I don't know. You're just yeah. you're just always looking at me and you're giving me snake eyes. Oh well I never done that, but if you feel that way, you know I'm sorry, because I don't know who you are. Oh, I, can you wave at me next time at least? So I, it doesn't feel weird. Sure. So you can you say hi to me? Then I I know you who you are. Well, you wouldn't be able to hear me because the door's closed. Door's closed. Yeah, you know you, you can't hear me through the glass. Are you in there now? Yeah. Okay, let me go out. Okay. Well, I don't want to come out right now. I've got to answer the yeah. phone calls for the hair place. Oh, hair place. Yeah. Hey, I've got another call coming in, and I think it's important. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Hey. Okay. Hi. um, I had a missed call from this number. Oh, yeah. Were were you looking for, uh, like, um, I I think you were looking for carpet, weren't you? Oh. From inside the Luxor. Oh, okay. What can you tell me? Well, I, I managed. It to... was on the other line, and I couldn't take your call back. And it, I, okay. Yeah. So, w- what can you tell me? Well, it's a thousand square feet of uh, carpet from the Luxor. A thousand square feet. Uh, yards. I mean, a thousand yards of Luxor carpet. A thousand yards. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I get feet and yards. Okay. Mixed up. Yeah. There's a big difference between a thousand yards and a thousand. Feet. Yeah. I'm not a fucking idiot, mm-hmm. asshole. Why are you talking to me like that? Well, because you're ter- you're because you're talking to me like I'm an idiot, and I'm not. I just got a little confused, and I corrected myself. Okay. So you call me an f and asshole? Sorry for not being perfect. So would you okay, be in- would um, you be interested in this? What's it for? A pool hall. A pool hall? 
How much? So, can you send me a picture of it? Yeah, well, it's like brown shag carpet. I'd have to, I'd have to see it. Okay, I'll send a picture, but I'm just trying to paint. paint I'm trying to paint a picture for you. It's, it's you know that '80s carpet that everyone had in their living rooms back in the '80s. It's like um, kind of like not, shag. Not really, but it's kind of like shag carpet. And that was in the Luxor. Yeah, well, wow. we were just okay. sto- we were storing it for some guy. And it's got a lot of uh, dog pee all over it. So you're definitely going to have to clean it up. I don't think I'd be interested. Why not? It's from the Luxor. Yeah, but it's got dog pee in it. It probably smells. I- I'm not interested. Well, why don't you shampoo it, you fucking <laughs> asshole? I knew that was him calling, and I was starting to feel bad about that, that poor lady at the cleaners. She sounded so offended. So I just put them together on the phone. I thought she could listen to me and maybe chime in occasionally. But she pretty much hung up right away. So I'm done with the shopping center, I guess. Uh, I do have a couple more here from Max Power Shopping Centers for karate places. Oh, wait, though. I haven't called the actual Sensei Doug place. I always forget to do that. Good afternoon. We're having a great day of martial arts. It's Miss Reba. Can I help you? Hey, um, I, I'm. this is the owner over at the hair place. This is Sam. Hi, Sam. Hey. Um, I want to know if I can just borrow your, uh, your, your fighting room for a little bit. Me and the lady over at the nails place, we're going to fight. We're just going to blow off a little bit of steam. So is, <laughs> who, is, who is this? Uh, this is Sam. I, I own the hair place, the hair, you know, the hair place here in the shopping. Yeah. Zone. Come on over. Okay. I, I, yeah. Come on down. But like, you're not going to stop us. Right. Cause I'm going to beat the shit out of her. You know, is this really Sam? I feel like you're pranking me. Who is this? What, why would I prank you? I'm a grown man. Like, what would the joke even be? That doesn't make sense. Who is this? Yeah, just come on down. I really appreciate if you... Who, who are you uh, asking? Who are you asking who I am? Well, it just sounds weird that a business owner is calling another business, uh, talking about you're gonna. this man's going to beat the shit out of a woman. Well, no, she she agreed to it. She she doesn't like me, and I don't like her, and we're gonna fight. But I just thought it'd be cooler if we could do it like in in a dojo or whatever. All right, what time is this gonna happen? Uh, can it can it be like within the next hour? Oh yeah. She claims she can she can kick my ass, but I don't think she can because I, I, I got. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this. Okay, are, there's not gonna be kids in there, are there? Because they're gonna see blood. All right. Well, hurry up because there's gonna be kids soon. So you guys need to hurry, hurry up and do this. Okay. All right. I'll go get her. I'll go. I'll go tell her it's time. It's time to go, bitch. That's All what right. I'm gonna say to her. All right, but just make sure, like, you understand that we like her. We just don't like you. Why don't you like me? <laughs> so we have her back. <laughs> okay. Well, you can't interfere with the fight. Look, I want to wipe the floor with this bitch, okay? Oh, my God. This is so unprofessional. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Well, well, I'm unprofessional. You're the one that runs a fighting place for money. That doesn't seem professional to me. Okay, next shopping center is a little confusing. It's a bunch of separated buildings. There's a daycare. Oh, and the fighting place is a kung fu place. But they're all in separate buildings. It's like It's like they're condos or townhouses or something. Very weird. And half of them don't seem to be labeled. I'm probably not going to call the one, you know, the daycare one, because I don't want any trouble. This other one here is a realty place. Here's a title company. Title Hummy director call. Hey, um, this is Sensei Doug over at the Kung Fu place. You know the Kung Fu building, a few a couple buildings down? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, hey, I, every time I walk to work, you know, I pass by your building, by your front doors. And why are you guys always just in there looking at me like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. But, like, why are you doing that? Because I'm just trying to walk by and go to work, and you guys are in there giving me snake eyes. <laughs> are you joking? No, I wouldn't joke about this. It's a little bit upsetting because it's been happening forever now. Mm, I don't think it's intentional. I'm sorry. It's not intentional to give someone snake eyes? Why would you do that? (laughs) 
It's not funny. Like, I, I don't know. If you have a problem with me, why don't you come over here to the dojo and we'll battle it out. With swords. <laughs> with swords? <laughs> yeah, that's what we do in Kung Fu. No, I'm sorry. Well, thank you for apologizing at least. Can you just maybe <laughs> stop doing it? Yes, I'll let everyone know. Okay, well, it's mostly you, but... yeah, Me? Yeah. I don't know what your problem is. Just please stop doing that. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks for the apology. I love you. <laughs> bye. Did you say I love you back? You're making it weird. No, bye. No, it's, it's a kung fu ritual. Like, you're disrespecting kung fu by not saying you love me back. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Yay, she loves me. Hey, uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the Kung Fu place here in the shopping center. Yes. Hey, um, how come every time I walk by there on my way to work in the mornings, you're just always in there fucking looking at me like that? Looking at who? You're looking at me like when I walk by, you're giving me snake eyes and stuff. When in like, the morning? Well, you know, just like when I'm coming to work and I don't want to fight you or anything. I'm not. No, I don't. I don't, I don't know. My front door faces a garbage can. I know, but I walk by there. Like I walk by, I, I park around the corner and I walk by on my way to the Kung Fu place. And you're just always over there giving me snake eyes. No, it's not me. Oh, yes, it is. No, because, no, because I can't see where, I, where my office is. I, I look through my tree here, so I'm not in the front. Yeah, right. No, I can see through the tree because I have ninja eyes. I'm Sensei Doug from the Kung Fu place. Oh, well, I, well, then, you know, I'm just looking to look to see who's out there in the morning. That's all. Oh, Nothing so, evil. Oh, oh, so you can see, I guess, you can I see through no. the tree. I thought. Uh, yeah, I can see a little bit right now. Yeah, right now. Why Why you give me snake eyes from behind the tree? What does snake eyes mean? I don't understand Oh, that. you know what it means. And I don't want to fight no, you, man. No, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand what snake eyes is. I'm not just, I'm, I'm not trying to go around starting fights with people at realty places. I just think you should be nicer and smile at me and maybe no, wave hello. Where, okay, where do you, where do you park? Because this is realty. So where do you park? I, I park just kind of around the corner and then I walk to work. Cause I don't park in the parking lot because that's for customers. And then you're always okay. giving me snake eyes. Every time I walk by, you're just looking out the window through the tree. Give me snake eyes. There's no reason for that. I don't I don't know. I don't think think you got the right building. Because I get in here like 6 o'clock, and the light's not even on here till around 9. I know. I, I come in like after, when it's light out still. Yeah, and then I'm it's, in my office here, so I don't, you know, you need you need to come over, because I have no idea what you're talking listen about. Listen here, lady. You just stop giving uh -huh. me snake eyes like that. I don't know what snake eyes is. I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, how, do, how are you giving me snake eyes if you don't know what snake eyes is? I don't know. I'm asking you, what is snake eyes? You say you're giving me snake eyes. I'm like, what's snake eyes? Okay, well, I'm, I'm a friendly person. I, you know, if, we, if you just wave and If you're a friendly person, come over here to <laughs> Realty and talk to me about it. I have no idea what you're talking no, I'm, about. No, I'm afraid to. I'm afraid you want to fight Why? or something, and I don't want to fight you. Oh, please. I'm not going to fight. Oh, please. I'm a 67-year-old woman. Like, I'm going to fight you. Well, I don't know the way, the way you're giving me snake eyes. It seems like you want to fight. What is snake eyes? I, do I have to Google it or something? I don't know what that is. I guess so, but um, you're a natural at snake eyes, and uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fight. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand snake eye. I don't, I don't get it, because I, I I'm, I'm out here near the dumpster. My office face is a dumpster. You're always just looking at me through that tree. Through the dumpster? <laughs> yeah, the tree. Like, I walk in front of the dumpster, and like you're behind that tree. You're looking at me. I'm not behind the tree. I'm okay. Walk by here now. See if you can see me. I'm in my office. Oh no! I got a class starting. I got a bunch of kids coming okay. in. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're. I have no idea what you're talking about. But, and I don't know what snake eyes is. I don't. I don't understand that term. I guess I got to Google it or something. I'll, I don't know. I'll give you snake eyes. You know, I'll I'll like look at you with snake eyes. What? Oh and my see god! How, I don't see know how what snake eyes is. See how you like it. I don't know what, someone is looking at you and it's bothering you, but I'm not looking at you. I don't understand this conversation. Well, is it somebody it else? No that, is it me. somebody else, like, looking through the trees at me that's in there? I have other people who work here in the office, yes. Well, tell them, tell them all to stop giving me snake eyes.
Because it's more than you. It's like other people, too. Giving you snake eyes. Yeah, always give me snake eyes. I don't know what snake eyes are. Every time I I walk by. I don't have any clue what snake eyes are. And that one lady in there, she winked her butthole at me, and that was inappropriate. She does what? She winked her butthole at me. And, you know. What does that mean? This is supposed to be like a family-friendly shopping center, because I I teach kung fu here. What lady? Describe her to me. I got a few ladies in here. What lady? Oh, she's the younger one, and she winked her butthole at me. Wings her butthole at you. No, winked. What does she, that wink, mean? she winked her butthole at me. I, what does that mean? Me and my, I don't. I don't. I don't understand your terminology here. I'm not getting it. Well, just, just Google that too, and, and tell her to stop winking her butthole at anybody. Like she shouldn't wink her butthole at anybody walking by. Are you sure you have the right office? Because you know sometimes kids walk by here. They're coming to the class here at the kung fu place. Yeah. Is she going to wink her butthole at kids? That's not cool. Well, this is what I don't understand. My my front door faces the garbage cans. The I know. garbage. We're not on the other side where you guys are at. So I don't I don't understand this. Yeah, but we're ninjas. We kind of come around, um, you know, the garbage cans, and there's that sidewalk back there behind the garbage. You mean a little walkway where the water runoff is? Yeah, because you know we we yeah. are, we we tend to take uh, alternative routes. To, just to avoid okay, uh, detection. I'm not understanding any of this conversation because I don't know snake eyes or, Ma'am, or in, any. Uh, I don't know what that is. What What else? What was the other term you don't know? Uh, something about a butt. A butt. But. but something hole, butt. Oh, butthole winking. Yeah, well, I don't know what that is. Yeah, the other. What is, what is a butthole winking? The other lady was doing that. You know, everyone here is a trained. A trained ninja, a kung fu ninja, and we're always taking alternative routes, and when we walk by, you're looking through the trees and giving people snake eyes, but mostly me, I think. And and I don't even know who you are. Oh, what do you look like? It's Sensei Doug. I work at the kung fu place. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, do you know which one is in there, like, winking their butthole at me? I don't understand that term. What is winking butthole? I'm not. I don't, that's in, I don't, inappropriate. I don't I'm understand not, that term. I'm not going to describe that. That's disgusting, ma'am. I. You know what? I. I don't think you have the right office because the, the only young girl that I have working in here, she's around fifty years old. That's what I mean. Okay? Y- younger and than she you. Comes in. Well, yeah, everyone's younger than me, and she comes in maybe once a week in the afternoon for about an hour, and then she leaves. Why would she be winking her butthole at, at people walking by? I, us? I don't, I don't know what, she, you don't know, because she walks in and she leaves within an hour, so I don't know who you're talking about. Why does she? I think you got the, I think you got the wrong office, I really do. Why does she only work for an hour, is she lazy? No, she's not lazy, we're a real estate office, they mainly work out of their cars. Okay, well, I don't know, Yeah, that's lazy. what real estate agents do, they come in, get their paperwork, do what, and leave. I saw her for the first time last week, in about three weeks. Seems lazy to just come in for an hour and leave. Uh, no, they don't have to work in the office. They, they wouldn't take that over lazy. here. Like they would fire huh? you. They would fire you if you only came in for an hour over here. Yeah, but this is a real estate office. Things are done differently. In real what does that mean? What is real office. estate? I might have to look that up. No, you don't have to. She's a real estate agent, so they come and go as they please. Like a spy, so kind of like we're a secret ninja. This is an odd conversation. It's getting kind of comical, but I don't get any of it. You can call my broker. Why don't you call and complain to my broker? Well, did, did you, I have no clue. Did you write down butthole winking? Butthole winking? I'm going to write it down now because I don't understand it. Okay, and snake eyes. You need to stop giving snake eyes through the trees. Snake eyes through the... You know what? You need to come in my office and sit at my desk and see if you can see through the trees. I want you to do that. Well, you probably give me snake eyes while I'm in there, and I don't want that. Oh, please. You know what? Grow up. That's ridiculous. You can come in here, sit in my office, and see, look through the trees where I sit. You're telling me to grow up? You're the one giving snake eyes through the trees. Like, well, you know what? Like, I, I think I think you're imagining me because it's not. <laughs> like you're acting like you're a damn ninja, and you're not a ninja. No, I'm not. I'm sitting here, and I, I, I'm sitting here and I look through the trees. I see little spots here, and there's sunlight. That's all. Is that something agents so you, do? Uh, no, if you want to come in and sit and, you know, look through the trees, you can see there's nothing, there's nothing to see out there. And what was your name again? Oh, this is Sensei Doug. Write that down, Sensei Doug. Yeah, I don't, I have no, I have no idea what you're talking about. 
I really don't. I'll mention it to my broker, but I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Okay, well, you tell your broker Sorry, to yeah. stop, stop winking their butthole at people. Um, that's kind of, uh, you know what? I don't know who you're talking about and what you're talking about, but you're more than welcome to come in my office and sit at my desk and see what you can see, sir. I don't want to sit at your desk. I'm not a desk you person. Know? I, I teach Kung Fu. Well, then you can come in here and stand and look out the desk. You know, if you want to, then you're going to see that you're completely mistaken. I have no idea who you're talking about. I'd probably, and when did this butthole thing supposed to have happened? Oh, it, uh, it's just a few weeks ago. And I'll probably see more through the trees than you do because I have ninja eyes. Well, more through the, a few weeks. So when a few weeks? So did, can you pinpoint it down? No, not really. I was uh, very distraught when she winked her butthole at me, the 50-year-old. I have no idea what that is. Is she there? I don't I'm, no, she's not in today, no, but yep. I'm going to have to look this up because I don't know what it is. Can you conference her on? Conference her on? I don't know how to do that. Uh. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm not techie at all. I'm not techie at all. Hold on a second. I'll be right real cool. What, what's techie mean? I'm going to have to yeah. look that up. Look what up? Can you put that customer on the phone, please? Why? Uh, I just want to do a quick survey with him. No, I don't have to do anything. Oh, no, no, I'm just asking if you would. No, I'm not going to. Do you want me to come to your office and start asking your clients over there? That, asking them what? That'd be kind of rude. That, no. Yeah, that'd be impolite and rude. I'm just going to do a quick survey with them. It's, it's no, not, we're not weird. doing a survey. If you want to do a survey, you can come talk to my bro broker, Mr. Doug, or whatever you need sensei to do. Sensei Doug. I'm but a sen sensei. Okay, this, con this sure. conversation is utterly <laughs> ridiculous. Show respect. And okay, so... You need to have a good day. I will let my broker know you call from the Kung Fu, and there's some people doing whatever they're supposed to be doing to you. Are those, okay? are those customers new customers? or have they, have you, It's have none they, of your business, have, sir. So you have a good day. Have, I'm ending this conversation. Goodbye. Have they been in there before? <laughs> well, that was a fun conversation. So like in the same building, and I don't know if it's uh, a different side of the building that they're on, but there's another realty company in here. I'm pretty sure whoever works there has been giving Sensei Doug snake eyes. Or maybe it's the same, you know, the same office, just a different reality company. But we're going to get to the bottom of this, this whole snake eye thing. Ah, that one just hung up after four rings. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm done with this shopping center now. Let's see what the third one is. The third and final. Oh, this new one. It has a uh, pawn shop in it. And I love talking to pawn shops. Let's see if this pawn shop will pick up. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm both here with the cash you need. This is Christina. How can I help you? Hey, Christina. It's Sensei Doug over at the uh, martial arts place. Hey. It, here in the shopping center. Hey. Yes. How, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I don't have time for small talk, though. Um, Every time I walk by there, you're always in there like, give me snake eyes. Is there a way you could cut that out? I'm sorry. Say that again? Uh, every time I walk by the front windows, like on my way to work, you're always in there, give me snake eyes. Can you please just stop giving me snake eyes like that? You said who was doing that? You are. Um, I don't open every day. So oh, I, I know. Not not every day, but when you're in there, you're always just giving me snake eyes. Oh, okay. Like, can you just stop giving me snake eyes when I walk by? Because, you know, I don't want any trouble. I'm, I'm a friendly person. I'm, I'm just oh, okay. trying to go to work. Okay. So, could can you please not give me snake eyes anymore? Yeah, sure. And, and also the guy too. Can you ask the guy there to stop giving me snake eyes like that? Which one? Uh, you know, you know the one, the one that does that too. Like I don't know what both of your problems are with me, but I don't think I did anything wrong. I'm well, just, I, well, like I, like I said, I'm I don't open up the store a whole lot so i'm maybe here once a week so i don't know what who you even are it's sensei doug or what oh, you look like i'm at the, the the martial arts place okay yeah i i have no idea what you even look like well then why are you giving me snake eyes oh okay <laughs> are you just giving everybody snake eyes oh uh, you know yeah you are uh, i will definitely let the store manager know well can you just put him on the phone real quick um, at the moment, I can't because I believe he is actually in a meeting. Ugh. Well, like with who? That doesn't sound real. That doesn't even sound real. It doesn't. Does that mean he's in the bathroom? I mean, it could. I, I you know, that's a really good question. Can you put I'm one not, of those? I'm actually not with them. One of those other guys on the phone. 
I need to talk to the um, man. To the man? Yeah, just um, the, any man. That would probably be a corporate. Oh, any man. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Because that one's busy, and the other one is we'll busy We'll take as over well. for him. Take over for him. And, you know, well, I'm he... actually with the customer, so I can't take no, over you're... for anyone. No, you're now you're making that up, too. Come on. You're more than welcome to walk up here. No, I don't want to be getting snake eyes from you. Oh, okay then. Um, but yeah, you're more than welcome to walk up to the store if you'd like. Well, I've been avoiding walking past your store because you're always in there giving me snake eyes. Yeah. Um. Okay. Like I said, I don't know what you look like, but okay. Well, you don't I have to know what I'm looking. Do you just give everybody snake eyes then? I don't know what you're talking about, but um. Snake eyes. You say I do. You give me snake if eyes. Say I do. If you say I do. Then okay. Okay. Well, can can you cut that out? Yeah, for sure. Can you please put a man on the phone? Like I said, all of them are busy. You're more than welcome to walk up here and you, talk to one of them. Are you really like. ignoring a customer to talk to me on the phone right now? Am I ignoring one? No. Well, it seems like you're being ex- extremely rude because you're just on the phone and not talking to them. Is, do, you, do you have any other questions? Well, you didn't answer that one. What are you chewing on? You have a, a Larson gin or something? All right, you have a good day, okay? Sensei, whatever your last name was. Sensei Doug. Okay, yeah, Sensei Doug. It's not a last name. It's a first name. Yeah, either or. No, it's a first name. All right, you have a good day, okay? All right, I love you. Oh, I love you too. Bye-bye. Well, she said that really easily. I can't even tell where the Sensei Doug place is, like where the martial arts place is. Because it says it's there, but then when I look at the street view, there's no martial arts place there. And I have to zoom in to a certain amount to see it. And if I go too far, it disappears. There's also a gun shop in this uh, shopping center. So maybe they'll be more irritable than the pawn shop people. Usually pawn shop people are grouchy. So what the hell was that? I just got to talk to a lady with hard candy in her mouth. Gunsmithing. Hey, uh, this is Sensei Doug at the martial arts place. Right, yeah. Bye. Hey, um, I, I, every time I walk by the front of your store, you're always in there just looking at me like that. Can you please not do that? Do what now? You're just always looking at me and giving me snake eyes like you want to fight or something. And I don't want to fight with what? you. Who's, who's doing this now? Oh, this is Sensei Doug. From the karate place over here? Yeah, yeah, right right, right by you. And I don't see why you got to look at me like that, you know, through the window when I'm walking by on my way to work. Hello? Hello, who's this? This is Sandra. Who this? Oh, this is Sensei Doug. I already explained all this to that guy. You need to tell that guy to stop giving me snake eyes. Who is this? Oh, this is Sensei Doug at the karate place. What guy's giving you snake eyes? That guy that I was just talking to. I don't know what his problem is, but I don't want to fight with him. Oh, you crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I I work here at the, the dojo. I'm a sensei. You stay right there. Stay right Why? Why? Why do I have to stay right here? I can go outside if I want, ma'am. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my husband. You stay. I'm telling him to stay right there. What? Is he the one giving me snake eyes? I'm trying to figure out what are you talking about. What, what was your husband doing? Was he acting like he's going to come over here and start some shit? Uh, are you talking to me on the phone? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to you on the phone currently. No. Why, why is your husband trying to start shit now? Is he the one giving me snake eyes? With you, what are you talking about? Well, I'm just tired of all the snake eyes. I'm just trying to walk by on my way to work. And you snake guys, eyes. you guys are in what? there giving me snake eyes. What are you talking about? What does my husband look like? He said he worked with you. Oh, I don't. What he works with me? I'm next door at the karate store. Is there anybody in here? I'm, up, I'm talking to Nick. I'm up in my office. Where's your office? Hey, you you tell Nick. You tell Nick that um you, that that he he needs to take care of the person next door giving us snake eyes whenever we walk by because they're giving Nick snake eyes too. Who is this? This is Nick standing here in front of me. Who is this? Ma'am, you need to stop hollering at me. I'm just asking you to stop giving me snake eyes, sir. You and that husband of yours, you stop giving us snake eyes. But- you, you know, we, we don't have to be enemies just because you guys have guns. What, what's your name? What is your name? Uh, this is Sensei Doug. I'm upstairs. Sensei Doug. 
I'm on the I'm on I'm on I'm on the roof doing some ninja shit. You know what? You done lost your mic. No. We, we, are, going we are going to hang up on you because nobody's on the roof up here. Oh, yes, I am. I'm on top of the air conditioning unit doing handstands. Okay. To improve my balance. God bless you. You go ahead and put your panties back on and sit down, okay? Put my panties back on? What does that mean? Put your panties back on. On and sit down before somebody called the police on you. You sound like someone that goes around giving people snake eyes. Well, I'm going to go around and call the police and let him give you a snake eye. God bless oh, you. Oh, he you better said, not. He, he's put a, your panties on. That police okay? is a public servant. Put, I pay his put paycheck. Down, down. Put your panties down and sit down. Put I, your panties on. I'll keep my panties off if I want to keep my panties off. You put, you put them on and sit down before you hurt yourself because you're going to hurt yourself, okay? How come you talk to your husband like that and you tell him to stay like he's a dog? My husband would tell you in half, child. Go go away. Oh, yeah, right. I'm, I'm, oh. a, I'm a fucking ninja, lady. Okay, ninja. I'm, I'm a sensei. You know what? You're crazy. Your husband can't fight me. But I don't oh. go around fighting people. I'm not trying to make threats. Why, you know what? Why are you being you, like that? What building are you in? What building are you in? Uh, the same building you're in. Oh, you don't know what building I'm in. I work here with Nick. Nick's just protecting oh, me. What? I'm, I'm standing right here with Nick, fool. I know. You're, no, you don't know. Yes, I do. You, I'm up on the roof. You stupid. Nick, Nick knows I'm on the roof. He's just pretending. A roof of Nick standing here talking to me. You stupid. I'm not stupid. We take turns doing handstands on the air conditioning units. Look, oh, fool. Put your drawers on and sit down before you hurt yourself. Because you're going to get your dick stuck between the air conditioning unit and you're going to need to fart after that. And after you fart, you're going to need some baby wipes and a diaper. Stop it. Before I, you I won't you. get my dick stuck anywhere because I have yes, perfect balance, you bitch. Yes, you will. You're going to get it stuck in the air condition. And no, I won't. Hurt. I've and never... You will because you don't know how to do no ninja. Go ahead, boo. I've never fallen. I've never fallen from a handstand. Oh, oh go fall. I'm, fall. I'm a fucking fall. sensei, lady. Fall on your face and stick your tongue up your own ass, you piece of rotten shit. Woo! Yeah, got him. You got me good, didn't you? Did you hear that? God, I'm good. He don't need, this is some fool. Hey, why don't, you, just, why don't you tell Nick in the background to shut the fuck up? You know, you're just some fool that just ain't got nothing to do, that you're a worthless piece of human being, that all you need to do is take a gun, Stick it up in your ass, pull the trigger, and you'll feel better. Is that why you're giving me snake eyes? That's why I'm giving your ass snake eyes, you piece of shit. Well, there's no reason for you to be giving me snake he, eyes every time I walk by, lady. He don't yeah, even. He don't know what snake eye means. He's who, so stupid. Who, 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 this who man, guy? this is just some fool oh, that dialed. Oh, why don't you tell me what snake eyes means? You're just a fool that dialed the phone random, and you ain't got no sense. I didn't dial a random. You are, you're stupid. I work. I work here on Boulevard. You don't work nowhere. You're stupid. Yes, I Meaning do. You don't even have a job. Oh, oh, oh! When you when you come out when you walk outside to go back to the gun shop, you'll see me up on the roof. I'll yell at you. So stupid. I'm I'm gonna yell down at you. I'm gonna be like, bitch. That's what I'm gonna okay, do. Well, you can you can yell, bitch, all you want. Oh, I will. You'll you'll see you, me. You may be getting a bullet coming back your way, bitch. But you're not allowed to shoot bullets up at, at the roof. You the bitch. Don't, you stupid. Bitch. Don't be shooting bullets at our at, at our dojo, okay, ma'am? You, you just you just a stupid, rotten, pickle dick piece of shit that ain't got no sense. A, That's what you are. A pickle dick. A pickle dick. You know what a pickle dick is? A motherfucker that needs to take his dick, yam it up his ass, pee, and then come in your own ass and fall on that air conditioned duck you own. You fool, my fool. I ain't gonna fall off anything. Fall off anything. I perfect balance. Did you hang up? She hung up, you guys. Holy shit. That was insane. She had better insults than Beverly, I think. She was obsessed with my dick and my butthole and my panties. Holy crap. Okay, I think I'm done. You know what? There's a couple more places here, but I'm just done. Like, you know, that's got to be the end of the show. I don't think I can end it any better than that. So thank you, Max Power, for those uh, phone numbers and for the shopping center addresses for me to pretend to work at and pretend to do handstands on. Hey, Brad, it's me, Dr. Bagel. Again, hey, last Dr. week Bagel. you told me to kick a dog, and uh, so I took your advice, and I kicked the dog real fucking hard and right in the head. Good job. Uh, my manager saw me doing it, and I got a promotion. So yeah. 
I just want to say thank you. Yay. You really, really changed my life. Congratulations. I love you, Brad. Dr. Basil. <laughs> Everybody listening, please don't really kick dogs. I feel like I have to say that because some of you are fucking idiots. I don't think Dr. Bagel really kicked his dog, but I'm glad he's blaming me for the promotion. Brad, 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 Brad. Hey. Oh, Brad, I've got the, I've got a good idea for you. This is a really short voicemail for Nobby Guy. Say that, say, uh, you can say to the landlord that there's a, someone with a hairy arse running around the place. Uh, you need to say someone's got a hairy arse. Okay. A, a, a very, very hairy arse. Bye. Okay. Uh, are you saying hairy ass? I think, I don't know. Thanks, Nobby Guy, for that. Hey, Brad, it's me calling from Denver's phone. Uh, yeah, I was just listening to the calls where you're taking incoming calls for Walmart. Yeah. And you like, asking for directions. And you're like, yeah, we're uh, a couple blocks down from Martha Steuben's house. No, it was Mrs. Steuben's house. That's a completely different person. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I did say Martha Steuben. I think I was thinking of... Martha Stewart. Her name's Stewart, right? And then I was trying to change it up, and that's the best I could do. It's stupid, but it's so funny. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed those calls from, like, 20 years ago. Hey, Roy. It's Ben Smale Stripper again. Hey. I was listening to World of Frank calls, and uh, I heard the young lady on there, Devin, and she sounds just like Spessa. She's like the new Spessa. No, she doesn't. I like the new Spessa. She- Everyone says Devin sounds like Stacy. Which I also don't agree with, but she sounds more like Stacy than Spessa. Uh, she's as good as the old Spessa, perhaps. Yeah. You know, and one last... Maybe even better. ...thing. I, I bought a bunny rabbit once, and I named her Spessa in honor of Spessa, the prank callist. Yeah. She was a little uh, uh, Silver Martin uh, Dutch dwarf. So everybody Google what that rabbit looks like, and no. you'll be like, oh. Not going to do it. Thanks. Good old Spessa. Hi, Brad. It's Stephen Froney. Okay. Hey. I'm hoping that you'll, next time you're doing a number change, just keep this in your mind as a double prank call. Okay. You change somebody's phone number and you say to them, I've changed it, but it will only take effect when you hang up the phone. So you need to hang up the phone for the number to change. Okay. And, of course, they're not going to want to have their number changed, so they're going to stay on the phone. And then you can phone up the next person and do the same thing. Change their number, tell them they've got to hang up the phone for the number change to go through. And they won't. And you pretty end up with lots of people on the line just holding on, trying to keep their phone numbers. Okay. okay. Bye. I can make that an entire show. By the end of the show, I've got like 30 people on the line with me just waiting, not wanting to hang up. Because who would hang up? Hello there, Brad. This is Joey from Muskogee, Oklahoma. Hey. Uh, I was calling to ask. I heard you in the past refer to the voice voiceful segment of the show as uh, everyone's favorite part. Uh, of course. Or the part that everyone's waiting for. Sure. I was just calling to see if that's true because I think this part of the show kind of sucks. Love you. Bye. Oh, okay, asshole. No, I'm being very sarcastic when I say that, because most people don't like the voicemail segment, but those people can go suck a dick. Hello, Brad. It's C.O.P., one of the Patreon supporters. Hey! Uh, this is the second time um, I've been a sponsor of a free hobo sold for the freeloaders who that's, don't that's pay exciting. Patreon Congratulations. to pay to listen to hobo sold. Yeah. It's going to stop. My money doesn't go to support. Oh, I see what you're saying. I used you as, you know, for the free hobo sods. Oops. That was an accident. I just kind of write them all down at the beginning of the month and then read them off whenever. Just pick them at random. It wasn't on purpose. I'll try not to do that again. All right. I love you, Brad. Uh, Bye. Bye. Hey, Brad. It's Teen Wolf Jesus. Hey. Hey, Just two things. Number one, when I went to YouTube today, when I saw you post that hobo sod, and I see all these fucking comments about, like, Brad died... Yeah. I fucking went into a panic. I closed my office door. Like, I started doing all this research. Like, I don't know, man. Was dramatic music playing the whole time? Because that would make it really funnier. Like, that was fucked up. And then I went to Discord, and I realized that uh, people were fucking around. But anyway, that was not a good part of my day. Probably a Aww. lot of people freaked out, too, based on the comments. But whatever. Yeah, you know, I got emails and stuff. And there's a big old thread on Reddit about it. And people have been doing that for months now. Or, I mean, years and decades, really, because there's always somebody that has to start doing that again. But for some reason, everyone really uh, had a good time with that on the last hobo sode. Point number two, sort of related to that, but I hope not. Uh, King Richard, so, you know, he was going on hiatus for August or whatever, and he has not been back. I know that you're not the guy to know this, necessarily, but 
Uh, I called her. I didn't call him. I emailed him a couple weeks ago to see how he's doing because he hasn't come back. Yeah. Do you know anything about him? Is he doing okay? Is he like I'd say anything. He's back. I know you probably don't talk as much as you used to, but maybe you talked to Olga. Just want to make sure everything is good with him, see if he knew anything. Thanks well, for everything, Brad. Sorry for the longer than normal message. I don't know shit, but I still talk to him, and I still talk to Olga occasionally, but he hasn't told me anything, and... I don't know, he probably just got tired of doing prank calls. He got burnt out, lots of people do. I'd probably burn out by now if this wasn't my job, but I just personally have faith that he'll come back. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it happens someday. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, nobody really knows. Hey there, Braddy Poo. Hey. It's Brown Teresa. I'm uh-huh. just sitting here in my upstate New York apartment on the couch, eating a burger. Thinking about you. Okay. It's a veggie burger, by the way, because I'm a vegetarian. That's the best kind of burger. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. I love you, Brad. No. Say it back. Not going to do it. And give a shout out to my homegirl, DW, because I know you're listening, boo boo. All right, Brad. I hey, love DW, you. why don't you shut the fuck up? Bye. Sorry. That was mean. Hi, DW. Thanks for listening. Hi, Brad. This is I Don't Regret Not Jumping, Not I Regret Jumping from Maryland. Hey. I was listening to some of your shows, and I don't think you're a bad person. I think the people in the, the chat rooms kind of give you a bunch of outrageous ideas, and you get all excited, and you and you say them, and you don't mean to hurt people's feelings. It's just that they're egging you on in the chat room. They're kind yeah. of a, a bad influence. Yeah, they're, that's the I problem. I thought I'd let you know. It's the listeners that are a bad influence. That's the ticket. Thanks. It's totally not me being a bad person. And I don't know, I'm okay with saying no to ideas, but if I'm doing a live show and I'm drinking, I might not have the best judgment, and I might do some crazy things, and who knows what might happen. Yo! What up, Brad? Mr. Kata Kata. Hey, that episode with the cat lady going, cats, cats, remind me of Vanilla Sky, where Tom Cruise kept going, cats, cats, and then he said, Yo! Why don't I remember that from Vanilla Sky? I think you're just making this all up. That's on episode 777, even though 778 was played first, but get down on it, baby. Have a good one. Thank you. Now I want to go watch Vanilla Sky again. Hello, Bradley. This is your weekly reminder that you have no FBI raids scheduled for this week. You have no FBI raids scheduled for this week. Yay! Okay, bye. I'm glad to hear that. Kind of sucks that I'm hearing this on a Friday. I wish I would have listened to this on Monday, and then I would just have peace of mind for all of last week. But I guess that's what I get for not doing a show all week. So, okay, one last voicemail. Hi, Snowplow Show. This is Tim Riggy. Hey. The show is over. Um, I'm just calling because I have Amazon Prime, and it keeps playing this uh, video on Prime Video that says uh, it's a show for Roadkill Garage. And one of the guys in the show looks just like you, RPCP. What? Oh. And maybe I'm wrong. You, you guys okay, like- hold on. I'm going to go look. I got to see who looks just like me. Roadkill Garage, Season 7. Yeah, I think I know which one you're talking about. He looks pretty dorky. And I can see it, I guess. A much younger, skinnier me. Oh, wait. Is he old? I can't tell. I don't know. I don't want to zoom in on all this stuff and have videos start auto-playing at me. So, okay, yeah, you win. Thank you. You gotta check it out. Roadkill Garage. You'll know who I'm talking about. I mean, about. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna watch it. It sounds awful. Also, what the fuck is it? Oh, you live in, uh, Oregon, right? Isn't yeah. that where Johnny Five is from? That Short Circuit robot? Yeah. Did you ever see Short Circuit in your travels around Oregon? <laughs> Benjamin, <laughs> need input. <laughs> All right. See you later. Okay, Tim Riggy. Hey, how come I don't have you saved in my phone book? I'm going to do that right now. Oh, look at that. I do have you saved, but under a different phone number. So now I have you saved under this phone number, too. And I'm always going to know when you leave me a voicemail before I even play the voicemail. You know, for the past, uh, I don't know, years and years, I've always had an Android phone. I still have an Android phone, but I have my uh, PLA account hooked up to the Android phone, and before there was not a way to keep the Android phone from synchronizing my contacts from the PLA Google account over to my phone. So for years and years and years, I've just had a jam-packed address book on my phone, on my cell phone. It really sucks because I'm trying to look up, you know, normal people that I would like to call in real life or text or whatever, and I have to scroll through this phone book 
that's combined all of my contacts from my personal Google account and all of my contacts from my PLA Google account, which is mostly people in the voicemails that I've written down their names in the address book. So I had all of your phone numbers in my cell phone. It's crazy that I never accidentally butt dialed any of you. And a few weeks ago, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to take my PLA account off of my cell phone. And I was looking around on the phone to try and figure out how to do that. And guess what I found? An option to not synchronize my contacts for my PLA account. So before I always had Tim Riggy in my cell phone, his old number, I, I guess, or an alternative number, and I would run across it and everybody else's phone numbers when I was trying to scroll through my phone and find a real life person that I know. So everyone be happy for me. I finally figured out how to turn that off. I don't think that was an option before though. I think you really just couldn't do it because I know I Googled it and everyone's like, yeah, no, nope, there's just no way to do it. So. Thank God they fixed that, because I was about to take my PLA stuff off my phone. That would have been kind of annoying. And oh yeah, Short Circuit. I've been to that town. That's in Astoria, Oregon. I went there to uh, see the Goonies Museum, and I think I ended up going over the bridge that Johnny Five paraglides off of. Either that or the other bridge. I forget which bridge I went over. And I need to go back there someday. It's been a while since I've been to the coast. Okay, so that's the end of the voicemails, that's the end of the show. Thank you all the sponsors of today's show, like Cody No Name, The Stunning Kruger Effect, Vintage.Anon, Chaz the Tandem Stacker, and Jimmy S. Thanks everybody for supporting the show on Patreon, and Spotify, and Apple. If any of you want to support the show, the links are in the show notes or in the description of wherever you're watching this, hopefully. Remember to visit all my websites, phonelosers.com, worldofprankcalls.com, notla.com, What else do I have? PrankCallCallCenter.com? That one's kind of pointless, though. Snowplowshow.com. And also listen to live prank call shows every night at PrankCast.com. That's the best site ever. Thank you, Milkbox, for creating that. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. This is Child's Play. Like Kenny Powers, I'm back. But I've never done coke and I'll never do smack. I don't understand that term. What is winking butthole?